Hi, everybody. I'm Josh Brown, Executive Director of the Puget Sound Regional Council. I'm catching up with leaders across the Puget Sound region to hear more about their top priorities and challenges. Today, I'm talking with Snohomish County Executive Dave Summers. Executive Summers is in his sixth year as County Executive. Prior to serving as County Executive, he served 14 years on the Snohomish County Council. Dave is a proud graduate of the University of Washington, where he earned a master's degree in forest ecology and a bachelor's degree in fishery sciences, but where he's probably most renowned as a member of the Husky Marching Band. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with us today, Executive Summers. Thanks, Josh. Good to be here with you. What are some of the things that you're really paying attention to that the region needs to do to prepare for growth that's going to be coming in the future years? Yeah, you know, growth was one of the reasons I got into uh, county government. I, as you mentioned, I was a fish biologist and working on protecting salmon habitats. So there was a real intersection between protecting our natural resources and our natural environment and growth. And, you know, one thing that's uh, I think should be clear to everybody at this point is growth isn't really optional. It's going to happen to us. When I first started working in Snohomish County in the 1970s, uh, there was about 250,000 people here in the county, and we're now closing in on 850,000 people. And, and that trend is not going to change. So it's really, really important that we recognize that growth is a reality. It will continue to be, and that we do the proper planning to accommodate that uh, in the best way possible and to focus on how do we keep our county and our region a, a beautiful place to live and work and really accommodate that growth as best we can. And so that's been a challenge. Uh, we are uh, just starting our countywide comprehensive plan process, uh, which will be done in a couple of years. Of course, we've been through the Vision 2050 process, which provides a really important regional template. And I think, you know, actually Vision 2050 says it really well, is you have to pay attention to the growth, uh, where it happens, transportation systems, the natural environment, equity in our communities, um, a whole host of uh, issues that come along with uh, growth. And, you know, one thing of, we're focused on here in Snohomish County is one thing that makes us really a nice, great, beautiful place to live is the diversity of our communities. And, you know, we stretch from uh, aerospace industry uh, along the I-5 corridor, um, uh, healthcare, uh, facility, large healthcare facilities, biomedical uh, technology companies, all the way out to uh, Darrington and the rural parts of our county. In between, we've got agriculture and we've got small business and we've got a lot of tourism and recreation. And you get clear out to Darrington and up in the river valleys and they were timber and mining oriented historically. So I think personally, it's important to pay attention to each one of those sectors or each one of those areas and nurture them and bring them along together. So, you know, in 20, 30, 50 years, we're still a diverse place from urban to rural and keep that really vibrancy that that diversity uh, brings to us. Well, you definitely have a little bit of everything in Snohomish County. Yeah. In fact, you know, that that answer really leads into my next question. I know, you know, in some parallel fashion with the pandemic, we've had a lot of conversations evolving both at the national and regional local level about equity and, and what does that mean to communities? And at the end of the day, how, how do we make sure that we're opening up uh, opportunities, improving quality of life for everybody, right? Not 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 just for some folks uh, uh, in in some areas. So, what what are some things that you're paying attention to, and what are some ways that Snohomish County is, is leaning into equity uh, in in your community? Yeah, well, I think obviously it's a been an issue that's come really to the forefront the last couple of years in, in the United States. But, you know, I think it's very vital for the future. Again, as I said earlier, bring all our communities along. We are a very diverse um, uh, community from uh, the racial and uh, cultural standpoint. I think we've got 27 or more languages spoken in Snohomish County. Um, we just, in the last couple of weeks, have welcomed the first uh, Afghan res refugees. Mm. Uh, I think we've got 12 families so far, and we're expecting about 1,200 um, 
folks to relocate here. That's just a, an estimate, but we need to welcome them, um, uh, bring them in our communities, and frankly, uh, use their talents and their skills and uh, get them going in our in our uh, communities and our businesses here. So, um, it, it, like many other places, our Hispanic community has grown very significantly uh, in parts of the county. Uh, tremendous energy and talent, really embracing that diversity and using it as a strength uh, for this community is vitally important to our future. Executive Summers, thank you so much for answering our questions and sharing your insights, sharing that story. It was great. We can't thank you enough for the leadership and all the great work and all the countless hours you put in on behalf of Snohomish County in the Puget Sound region. I look forward to catching up with you again soon and uh, hopefully in person before we know it. Thank you, Josh. And, and just PSRC, um, you know, I've participated for many years and it's really one of my favorite things coming together as a region with all the other elected officials. And, um, you know, that, that's a great opportunity for us to work together. But I've got to say, PSRC and the staff and, and yourself, you know, in the leadership role there, just an outstanding organization and the way you support the region. So thank you for that. Thanks. Thanks for your partnership and support. Absolutely. You're welcome. Take care, my friend. We'll be in okay. touch soon. Stay healthy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.